हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज अबर्ट सॉल्यूबिलिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सॉल्यूबिलिटी सॉल्यूबिलिटी इज द मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ सॉल्यूट व्हिच वी कैन ऐड इनटू फिक्स अमाउंट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट एट द कांस्टेंट टेंपरेचर सो दैट अमाउंट ऑफ सॉल्यूट व्हिच वी कैन ऐड इन अ फिक्स अमाउंट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट एट एट द कांस्टेंट टेंपरेचर इज कॉल्ड द सॉल्यूबिलिटी ऑफ दैट सॉल्यूट सो हियर इज द स्टेटमेंट दैट इज द मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ सॉल्यूट इन ग्राम which can be dissolved in 100 gram of solvent at the given temperature is called the solubility of that solute okay for example if we take a 100 gram of water at 20 degree celsius and we start adding nacl that is our sodium chloride into it then the maximum amount of sodium chloride which we can add in this 100 gram of water at 20 degree celsius is 36 gram then we can say that the 36 gram is the solubility of nacl in this 100 gram of water at 20 degree celsius okay so remember the quantity that is the 36 gram is the solubility of nacl in 100 gram of water at 20 degree celsius this is the solubility of nacl in water okay next we have a table in which different solutes are written with their solubility in water at 20 degree celsius in 100 gram of water so we can add maximum amount of 21 gram of copper sulfate in 100 gram of water at 20 degree celsius we can add 32 gram of potassium nitrate 34 gram of potassium chloride 36 gram of sodium chloride 37 gram of ammonium chloride and 204 gram of sugar in 100 gram of water at 20 degree celsius so these are the solubility factors of different solute in water okay next we move on the different factors which affect the solubility of solute into the solvent so the different factors which affect the solubility that is our effect of temperature effect of pressure nature of the solvent nature of the solute size of the particle and the mechanical stirring so these are the factors which affect the solubility of solute into the solvent before discussing the factors we have to remember one important note that is the the solubility of the solute or we can say the solubility of solids in liquid however remain unaffected by the change in pressure so the change in pressure do not affect the solubility of solid in liquid okay next we move on the factors so first of all we discuss about the effect of temperature so effect of temperature is that as we increase the temperature of the solvent the solubility of the solute is also increases so we can say that the solubility is directly proportional to the temperature as we increase the temperature solubility is increases as we decrease the temperature solubility is decreases for example if we take the two beaker in one beaker we take a hot water and in another beaker we take a cold water in those beakers we just put a same amount of potassium per magnet and we just stir it we observe that the uh, in hot water the potassium per magnet dissolve faster compared to the cold water so with the help of this we conclude that the solubility of hot water is high because of the increase in temperature so with the help of this we easily say that as we increase the temperature the solubility of the solute in solvent is also increase okay next is our that's the effect of pressure so in effect of pressure the solubility of gases in liquid is increase so however increase on increase in pressure and decrease on decrease in pressure so as the pressure is increases the solubility of gases in liquid is also increase and as we decrease the pressure the solubility of gases in liquid is also decrease so we say that the pressure is directly proportional to the solubility of gases in liquid as we increase the pressure solubility of gases in liquid is also increase as we decrease the pressure solubility of gases in liquid is also decrease here is one example that in the manufacturing of the cold drinks okay so in the manufacturing of the cold drinks carbon dioxide is dissolved in water under high pressure as we increase the pressure we easily 
dissolve the carbon dioxide gas into the water okay so this property is frequently used into the manufacturing of the cold drinks okay next we move on the nature of the solvent nature of the solvent means those solvent whose dielectric constant is high can dissolve more amount of polar solvent on the other hand those solvent which have low value of dielectric constant can dissolve less amount of polar solvent okay next is our nature of the solute nature of the solute means that is ionic compounds or the polar compounds are more soluble in polar solvents like water on the other hand known polar compounds are more soluble in known polar solvent like benzene so the nature of the solute is also affect the solubility of the solute into the solvent okay next we move on the size of the particle size of the particle means that if the size of the particle is high then it show less solubility if the size of the particle is low then it will show higher solubility so we can say that the size of the particle is inversely proportional to the solubility as the size of the particle is high solubility is less size of the particle is low solubility is high next is our mechanical string if we increase the speed of mechanical string then the solubility of solute into the solvent is also increases okay so as we increase the mechanical string solubility of solute into the solvent is also increases okay next we move on the solubility curve so with the help of these curve we can observe the solubility of solute into the solvent by increasing the temperature so in this curve we have the two variables that is our increase in temperature and the increase in solubility so with the help of this curve we can easily observe that as we increase the temperature the solubility of different solute is also increases okay so in this we have different salt that is our NaNO3 that is our sodium nitrate KNO3 that is our potassium nitrate KCl that is our potassium chloride NaCl that is our sodium chloride so these salts or we can say the solubility of these salts is continuously increases as we increase the temperature but except CaSO4 CaSO4 it is also a kind of salt its solubility is decreases as we increase the temperature why is that so it is because the combination of calcium sulfate and the water is a kind of exothermic reaction if we want to increase the solubility of CaSO4 in water then we have to decrease the temperature so generally we conclude with the help of this graph that is generally the solubility of the solute in solvent is increases as we increase the temperature but remember the exception that is exception of CaSO4 okay next we move on the solubility of gases in liquid so we have to talk about the different factors which affect the solubility of gases into liquid okay so the first factor is nature of the gas nature of the gas means that like if we take the example carbon dioxide gas is more soluble or moderately soluble in water on the other hand nitrogen gas do not dissolve into the water or it is least dissolve into the water okay next is our the pressure applied if we increase the pressure solubility of the gas in liquid is also increased if we decrease the pressure solubility of gas into the liquid is also decreased next is our temperature if we increase the temperature solubility of gas into the liquid is decreased on the other hand if we decrease the temperature the solubility of gas in liquid is also increase okay so this factor also affect the solubility of gases into liquid okay next is our that is about the nature of the liquid which is taken as a solvent so these factors are continuously affect the solubility of gases into the liquid which you have to remember okay next we move on the henry's law what henry's law states firstly we uh, read the statement that is the solubility of gas in liquid is defined as the mass of the gas dissolved in a given volume of liquid at the constant temperature is directly proportional to the pressure of the gas in equilibrium with the liquid so this particular law state that as we increase the pressure the mass of the gas is 
dissolve into the liquid is also increases. So we can say that the mass is directly proportional to the pressure applied. So as we increase the pressure, the mass of the gas which we can dissolve into the liquid is also increases. Okay, so we can write that M is equal to Kp where K is the proportionality constant and the final formula you have to remember related to the Henry's law is our X is equal to Khp where X is the mole fraction of the gas and P is the partial pressure of the gas. So finally you have to learn this particular formula related to the Henry's law. Okay, next we move on the types of the solution. So basically we have three types of solution. First is our saturated solution, second is our unsaturated solution and third is our super saturated solution. Okay, firstly we talk about the saturated solution. Saturated solution are those type of solution in which solute is present according to the capacity of the solvent. So those solution in which solute is present according to the capacity of the solvent is called our saturated solution. On the other hand, those solutions which have solute under the capacity or below the capacity of the solvent, those solutions are called unsaturated solution. On the other hand, in those solutions which have the solute above the capacity of the solvent, those solutions are called super saturated solutions. Now the question come how we increase the capacity of the solvent? We increase the capacity of the solvent by increasing the temperature. As we increase the temperature, the solubility of the solvent is increases as we can add more amount of solute in that. So these are the three types of solution we have to remember. Okay. Next we move on the question answer. So question number first is potassium nitrate has the solubility of 60 gram per 100 gram of water at 40 degrees Celsius, how much potassium nitrate would dissolve in 25 gram of water to produce a saturated solution at 40 degrees Celsius. So, so for this, we have to calculate the concentration of the solution. So we can easily ca calculate the concentration of the solution. That is the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solvent plus mass of the solute that is the our mass of the solution into 100 okay so 60 upon 160 into 100 that is our 37.5 percent is the concentration of the solution now we get the concentration of the solution and we have to calculate the amount of solute that is amount of potassium nitrate which we can dissolve in 25 gram of water so for this we have to calculate the amount of solute we have the concentration of the solution that is 37.5 percent okay so the amount of solute is x the amount of solution is x plus 25 into 100 okay so we have to just calculate this particular numerical so 37.5 into x plus 25 is equal to 100 x is equal to 100 x minus 37.5 x is equal to 937.5 is equal to 62.5 x is equal to 937.5 when we divide 937.5 by 62.5 then the value will come is 15 gram so 15 gram is the right answer that is our B option we need 15 gram of potassium nitrate which we can dissolve in 25 gram of water to make a saturated solution at 40 degree Celsius. Okay, so the correct answer is B option that is over 50 gram. Next is it is observed that when a saturated glass of salt water is heated, okay, it take in more salt. How do you explain this? Is this solubility of salt in water increases with temperature. The salt already present in water decomposed with heat, therefore after can dissolve more salt. The salt already present in water react with the water and changes the property of water which enables it to dissolve more salt. None of these. So the correct answer is A option that is the solubility of the salt in water increases with 
temperature as we all know as we increase the temperature the solubility of the solvent is also increases okay next is how does the solubility of gases changes in liquid as described okay increase with decreasing pressure increase with increasing temperature decrease with increasing temperature decreases with increasing pressure so the correct answer is c option that it decreases with increasing temperature okay next is which of the following gases will be least soluble in water hydrogen chloride sulfur dioxide ammonia nitrogen so the correct answer is the option that is our nitrogen because it is non polar in nature okay so hope you understand each and everything in this particular lecture that's all in this lecture thank you have a nice day